who I was actually a biology major. And I was like, what am I going to do? I hate biology. <laughs> and I was searching for something that would make, put more meaning in my life. So I stumbled upon uh, ethnic studies at the University of Hawaii. And as you know, uh, our university has a lot, uh, has a big role in the creation of ethnic studies and Asian American studies. Uh, but I uh, met uh, Dr. Odo. And, uh, and I took his class, and uh, it changed my life. You know, I'm here. Because uh, I was uh, you know, going through life in Hawaii, just uh, thinking, oh, everything's all good. And, you know, uh, I didn't even know my history. Uh, so uh, I met uh, Dr. Oro, and so he gave me a, a more uh, in-depth look at my own history as an immigrant, a uh, descendant of immigrants to Hawaii. Um, and, but also to look at things in a larger context. So you probably hear me talk about the larger context in class all the time. A larger context along time and space. So it's from, uh, from uh, Dr. Oro I got that, uh, uh, the idea of looking at things in a larger historical and uh, uh, geographical context. Uh, but uh, Dr. Oro left the University of Hawaii and uh, he was the, uh, taught at uh, different universities, uh, including uh, Columbia University you know, um, and others, many others. Um, but he was also the uh, founding director of the Asian Pacific American program at the Smithsonian uh, Institute, institution. Um, uh, he has a much longer career and it would take me a long time to go through it and I don't want to take too much time. But uh, most recently he uh, completed a book on Hole Hole Bushi. So we, we watched Picture Bright in our class. Uh, and uh, actually, the movie Picture Bride was created around these Hole Hole Bushi, which are songs that the Issei uh, in Hawaii sang uh, while working, and it became this particular genre of, uh, of singing in Hawaii. Uh, but Dr. Koro spent decades <laughs> uh, gathering material and writing this book. And so uh, I'll, I'll have uh, Dr. Oro uh, tell me more about this, but this is uh, Dr. Frank Thank you. Thank you guys. So it's a real pleasure to be here. I see some old friends and uh, some young people. Uh, I want to just say a few words about these uh, songs. You will, you will uh, because I can't sing, um, I brought a uh, DVD with a sampler from, uh, with, with scenes and, and people singing the songs. They originate <clears throat> among Japanese immigrant sugar workers in Hawaii. And they, we all thought they would disappear with the original immigrants, the Issei, uh, in, in, in Hawaii. And all of them are, are dead by now. Um, but for some interesting kinds of reasons, and, and maybe later on with a Q&A we can talk about the resurrection of um, cultural legacies, uh, but the one, one of the key things that I would say this uh, project has taught me is to ask people who come from uh, immigrant uh, backgrounds to really think about what you see around you that look like things that um, are ephemeral, things that can be thrown away that are not particularly important, because uh, you don't necessarily know what it is that historians are going to look at later to try to tell the story of your, your families, your parents, your grandparents, and, 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 and yourselves. Um, so you might sort of think a little bit more critically about what's around you. Um, Wesley mentioned context and larger context. So if you think about what it is that a society does to protect the kinds of um, cultural practices uh, that, that uh, immigrants bring. And because there is such a strong um, tendency, tendency to try to have people assimilate into mainstream America, a lot of the things that people practice uh, can be, uh, in fact, irretrievably lost. And so I think what I'd like to do first is to show the DVD to give you an introduction to what are called polarily bushi. Uh, bushi is the Japanese term for uh, tune or melody. Hulu is a Native Hawaiian word for 
stripping the cane leaves from uh, the sugar cane so that the energy goes into the stalks um, instead of being wasted in the leaves. And the leaves then, when they're stripped, can be used as fertilizer for the, for the cane. So that was one of the many uh, types of work that uh, obtained on, on the plantations. in their own lives 
and their own sentiments into the song, and that makes it so valuable. If we want to know something of what some of these women's lives were like, not everybody's, but some of these women's lives, what they were like, then in some ways we could do no better than to listen to their own words as expressed through song. Thank you.